The biggest benefit to the Luna Classic ecosystem is getting noticed. Once you get noticed, then things get a little bit easier. However, uh, we do have a moment in time here where there's been declining interest in altcoins with Bitcoin having a run that leaves us kind of in a weird space because we're not a meme coin, which, you know, they've constantly been running. They're an easy way to onboard new people into an ecosystem and they're simple and they don't have any value or benefit. And that's just the nature of this current market. Will it stay that way? Of course not. It won't stay that way. But for the moment, it's been kind of weird. Uh, Bitcoin runs, the rest of the, the altcoins kind of run and they dump. And you know, every once in a while, you find an outlier that finds a new all-time high. Bitcoin trading at an all-time high. Render at or near an all-time high. Ethereum, nope. Solana, nope. Uh, the the popular one's still not there. So there's something different, weird, and wrong in the market. And we're going to get to the, the next level. However, there's some pieces that are still missing for the overall market. And until then, uh, we're going to kind of trade sideways. Maybe big pump, maybe big dump. We'll find new floors. And I'm going to talk to you about that right now because I think we're about to find a new floor. Now, if you like this type of content, you make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. Remember, this is sponsored by Terraport. And remember, if you are interested in risk-based gaming, definitely check out Terra Casino because they are there to um, uh, let you trade your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your XRP, your Doge, your SHIB, your Luna Classic, and you can do some risk-based gaming and maybe earn yourself some serious yield. And uh, you can do some simplified futures trading. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I encourage you, go to terracasino.io and check it out today. Now, let's move into the news. So currently we have no update. June 12th is the date that we will know more about what's going on with Duquan and Terraform Labs. Nobody's made a filing yet. So we have to wait until we get a filing to see what the amount of settlement is proposed or supposed to be. So we're watching, waiting for that to happen. Also, um, we, we had a 20% breakout uh, over the weekend. And, it, you know, these are the numbers, by the way, there's nothing here that I, I haven't told you before that, that we haven't, we're waiting for that move up to that, uh, three zeros, 25 range. Really uh, my number, I think I gave you, it was about three zeros, 23, I think is the, the, the actual number there, but a uh, long price climb more than 2% in the past 24 hours, extending the monthly rally to 15%. The upsurge is supported by a massive 130% increase in trading volume in the last 24 hours, which did happen. However, it did not maintain. We had that sell off on Friday when the U.S. jobs report came out, 272,000 new jobs created way more than what was anticipated. And what happens when there's a lot of robust uh, hiring in the U.S. economy? Well, inflation doesn't get a chance to come down, which means that we have to wait longer before we start to do quantitative easing, which we're looking to do. And that's when the rates come down and we're just not there yet. So looking for that to happen hasn't happened yet. And we'll let you know as it does. Now, on the Commonwealth, uh, we've got the tax to gas, which is a consideration right here, and uh, a little bit more about you know getting these processes underway and having a maintenance group that we haven't come for discussion. There are no proposals currently up, but there's discussions about Genuine Labs kind of taking over a lot of this different stuff. And look, you could be on the fence on whether or not you want to be utterly decentralized or... Uh, whether you want a little bit of centralization or to have leadership structure to try to build the community a, a little bit. And, and look, there's, there's no centralized hub here at this point. It's gone. So uh, we have an, an unauthorized or unknown of unofficial, I think you call it, website uh, being developed, which is not supported by all nodes. We have all nodes wanting to be the one person who wants to send out or implement um, uh, the reporting and kind of take over the overview and the purvey of what's going on. So there's really no single entity that's in charge of anything. And for some of you, you might think that that's awesome. You, you might think that's fantastic. But if it were that great, where's the price action? Why does it continue to decline? Why does it continue to go down? Part of that does have to do with no leadership or a lack of fundamental structure in how we go forward other than the governance. And and you might be shaking your head right now. So, what is the government? The government, the governance is how everything is, it's how it gets done. Yes. It's how it got done before, 
but Terraform Labs was overseeing it and pushing it in a specific direction. Now it's not being pushed in a single direction. There's nothing that 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 gets together and moves it forward. We need that structure. We're, and at some point, we're going to have that structure, and then everything changes about this ecosystem. But we're not there yet. So uh, be watching for some kind of proposal that will increase that sort of structure. And uh, Genuine Labs, probably at the forefront of the leadership portion of that. So we'll be watching this with bated breath, if you will, uh, to see what happens there. But uh, the original proposal here is, is maintenance. There's another one here for tax to gas. Uh, there is an, uh, an attempt for here, the upgrade SDK 5X. Uh, and then the, the modified pay for job structure, a bunch of different things over here. Go read them at Commonwealth at your leisure. And let's check price action. So I give you a best, pay, best possible, uh, best case scenario and a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is the one that's playing out. What I told you guys was that there was this, this real robust sort of structure that had developed up here uh, leading to a potential breakout. And then what happened Friday, the jobs market crashed the, the entire thing. So we'll remove this line right here because nothing's fundamentally changed. We're still within the margin of where I said we're going to be. Uh, we're going to remove this one because this one broke down on structure and then boom, look at this. We're still exactly where we're supposed to be. Now, what does that mean? That means that the move, which I gave you right here, just comes down here just a little bit. Nothing changes. Fundamentally, it's still the same thing. Now, uh, that of course means uh, they gave you 25. It's not going to be 25, by the way. It's not going to be 25. Um, hashtag not bragging. But it's going to be right here in this 22, 23 range. That's you know, if we if we break out, I would be shocked to 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 say the least if we broke out above that. What more likely would happen here is going to be another move over here, something like this. You know, just a nice consolidation over a six or seven hour window where you pick up here and you rip into this 13, 14 sort of range. It's going to take a little bit of positivity in the market, but we've got plenty of positive notions in the market. There's even a, an underlying right now expectation that China is a about to unban crypto. All this, uh, all the writing is on the wall there. So is it going to happen? I don't know, but it looks like we're getting to a, a spot where that is part of a discussion. So uh, be watching out for a big move coming pretty soon. And of course, the Asian markets uh, really like Luna Classic. USTC, same thing. Nothing, nothing has changed fundamentally over here. In fact, what did I tell you the worst case scenario was? breaks down into this line and does a back test. Uh, and what did it do? Broke down to this line, did a back test. So now what does it do from this back test? Well, most likely play up would be as it, it spiked off of here and then it went sideways. So there could be some more downward momentum. We could still see sellers come in, try to wreck a chart, move it down to like point, uh, zero, 1 0.9 cents. And then we're going to get a spike up here, back up to like two, four. You got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away 100,000 USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. The 2.4 cents uh, before we, we get a, a real breakout. But again, longer term, when you're looking at that breakout, you're going to see a big move coming up into that six or seven cent range. It's just a matter of time right now. And as we zoom out here on the structure of it, you've seen it happen before. You're going to see it happen again. It's just the nature of what we're doing. And remember, uh, we had a, a trouble breaking out last time. We didn't have as much trouble breaking out this time, or at least we didn't have as long a period. Now we're breaking sideways, which when you break sideways, you're going to get this big run at some point. So just be watching for that big run to happen uh, very, very soon. Uh, I would say that two cents right now for USTC, probably a pretty good position for anybody to be in for uh, another big rip. A two or three X would be pretty simple here. So I'd be watching for that to happen. As far as uh, coin hall goes, Rackoff continues. It just continues to impress. Uh, up again, uh, TKMN is up 63%. CNIP up 34%. But Rackoff just continues to build floor after floor after floor after floor. 
So uh, if you haven't already, consider checking out the Rackoff token. Remember, in two days, Judge Jed Rackoff is making a decision. When he makes a decision about the settlement reach between the SEC and Terraform Labs, that might start off a rally for Luna Classic and for Rackoff token. So just an FYI, no governance, I told you. Now, here's the issue. The issue is volume. Volume is way down. Of course, that leads to market cap being way down as well. And not much you can do about it. I mean, you know, we, we could uh, lose that zero again, uh, or we could gain that zero again. For all I know, we're just kind of sitting here sort of meandering through this whole process here, trying to figure out where, you know, everything just sort of fits in and, and 16 million in trading volume. That's good for number 249 in the overall market. So that's not great. That's not what you want to see uh, coming out of this project. And also uh, for USTC, it's up 24% in trade volume, but it's still down just like the rest of the broader market, uh, number 388 overall. Still not a good number. Now, uh, in good news, Binance Thailand will list Lunk on June 11th, one day before the SEC Terraform Labs settlement. So interesting tidings uh, happening over there. This is the Rakoff token, by the way. If you haven't been paying attention to it, it's just continuing to consolidate and build a, a little bit higher floor, a little bit higher floor, a little bit higher floor. So I'm telling you right now, you might want to check out Rakoff. Um, you know, this is uh, it's got some opportunity. 75,000 in liquidity. Uh, it's been here for a while up 45% over the course of uh, the last seven days, just continuing, continuing, and continuing to manifest itself. Now over on Lunk Dash, you can see how everything ended over here. 1214 is out there as an unknown proposal. Um, and the only one that's voted yes on it so far, Jesus is Lord. We'll see what happens with the proposal. I don't see anything on it otherwise. Uh, 287 million has been burned. And now we're going to talk about Food Token. So if you haven't already, uh, you should go check out Food Token. It's at food. Uh, it's at foodtoken.tech. So uh, came up here, nice little, nice little rip when it first started. Got a little enthusiasm. Then we consolidated in range. What happens when you consolidate in range? Generally, you get a decline on a brand new token. You try to find your. Um, I mean, it really looks like this. I think that spike seems a little bit of an outlier, but this seems like kind of the top on the fib retracement. And it, it, it really kind of hovers in between this uh, sort of 786, and it's kind of meandering in that golden ratio right now, which means that provided that it continues to be supported, it continues to be maintained, and we continue to work towards building uh, the army, if you will, then this thing is going to rip, and it's probably going to take off at some point. It just hasn't because, again, this is about structure, and this is about people coming into this ecosystem ecosystem and the people that come into this ecosystem generally uh remember this was luna and it, it was largely an asian based thing and with crypto being banned uh, in, in china it makes it difficult but guess what that might change dramatically coming up very very soon if that does things like food token gonna have just an enormous run what is food token well food token quite simply is an effort by the community to uh, create farms literally create farms 1% of all transactions contribute to the funding of permaculture farms globally through Terra Farming. Terra Farming represents a groundbreaking approach to agricultural development and environmental stewardship by allocating 1% of all food token transactions we aim to establish and support permaculture farms in diverse regions worldwide. Permaculture, a regenerative agricultural practice, emphasizes ecological harmony, biodiversity, and resilience. So you know, it's a matter of creating food for people who need food in places that it's difficult to grow food. Uh, it's a holistic design approach that relies on observing and learning from nature to create sustainable systems that are regenerative, diversified, and self-sustaining by focusing on the ethical principles of care for the earth, peer for people, and fair distribution of surplus. Permaculture invites us to think about our interactions with the world in a more conscious and responsible way. Now, if you're not into this kind of stuff, that's okay. That, that's okay. Um, it, it, if it doesn't matter to you, then it doesn't matter to you. Move on. But if it does matter to you uh, and you want to see people and you do care about the world and the environment and people in general, then this is a, a, a an, an incredible opportunity for you to say, hey, you know what? Uh, why don't I do two things? Why don't I help feed the world, number one? And number two, make a few bucks off of it. Um, it's the American way. 
I know it's horrible to say, but it is. Uh, permaculture is guided by a series of design principles that can be applied to a wide range of contexts. From planting a garden to designing a sustainable community, these principles include observe and interact, capture and store energy, get a performance, uh, apply self-regulation, accept feedback, use and value natural services and resources, design from patterns to details, integrate instead of segregate, use small and slow solutions, value diversity, use hedges, uh, use edges and value the marginal, and creatively use and respond to change. So, and there are plenty of uh, benefits to doing this uh, when you have permaculture. It offers a wide range of benefits, production of healthy and nutritious food, biodiversity and ecological systems, health, uh, soil and water conservation, and reducing dependence on external sources. So um, this whole project is about teaching the world how to do this. Here's the white paper if you haven't checked it out. And uh, it, they took the Terra logo and turned it into an apple, just in case you were wondering. Uh, the way that this works is there's NFTs, uh, they associate with the food token. They offer exclusive access to permaculture courses, eBooks, and instructional materials. So it's a, it's a learning initiative. It's an opportunity to uh, create something out of um, a very big need in this world. So if you're interested in things like that, then go check out Food Token and certainly contribute. Invest. Let the money just kind of sit there and hold. Uh, give them an opportunity to cook, if you will. And perhaps, just perhaps, you might save a few people. And in the meantime, you might make a, a few bucks off of this uh, as more people get into it and the price starts pumping. Remember, it's the early adopters that are the ones that, that, that make the money when these things happen. And look, uh, I can tell you that I think that it's noble. I can tell you that I think it's um, uh, great to see something like this. But at the end of the day, you're here for investment purposes. You're here because you're looking for a project that's gonna uh, that's gonna rip. So why not choose a project that helps you along the way? It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.